Hello everyone, welcome back to the garden. In this video I am going to be planting some perennials and stuff and I just kind of wanted to quickly take you along for the ride. Um, in the past you know I've grown tons of oriental lilies and they are among my favorites uh, mainly because they come in those beautiful pinky colors and of course they are insanely fragrant which I can't get enough of personally. I know sometimes the pollen bits are kind of in the way and kind of a nuisance, but oh, the fragrance, they just smell so pretty. I just can't get enough of them, especially in cut flower arrangements and things. But uh, now that I've got the space, I've gotten these two big old sacks of them. Uh, this is a total of 80 oriental lilies in all the varieties that I'm growing this year. One is called Casablanca. You might remember Casablanca because it's a beautiful, just crisp white. It's one of my favorites, gets very tall. And the other variety is one called Marco Polo. It is very, very similar to Casablanca, only it has more of a pink blushing that is really gorgeous. Of course, here we have the bulbs, um, just a standard lily bulb, pointy bits up top, rooty furry bits below um, usually about twice the depth of the bulb height is where you want to plant them um, it's really up to you sometimes you can get get away with something a little bit shorter a little bit shallower that's what I do I always wear gloves lily bulbs seem to make my hands itch and have reactions to it so um, first thing I'm going to do is dig around this house around the foundation of the house uh, I'd originally wanted to put them elsewhere, but I accidentally dug into a gas pipe. Whoops, I uh, didn't damage it, but I was surprised when I found it, that's for sure. Um, anyway, I just arranged these, usually about six or seven inches apart, kind of a staggered planting. Um, as long as they are growing in a location they like, they will multiply over the years, get taller and taller. Um, maybe eventually I will have to divide them, but not anytime soon, so I'm not really worried about it, honestly. After I have arranged them all into their trench, the only thing left to do is take a couple pictures for the internet and then cover them back up with the soil. Um, the soil is a little bit rocky just because I think it's next to the house and the porch and everything is what's causing that. But otherwise, a uh, pretty simple process, really easy process. Um, I don't know what else to say. I'm just basically throwing stuff in the ground. I know a lot of people make these videos kind of really complicated, but at the end of the day, we're just kind of throwing stuff in the ground and hoping that it grows, you know what I mean? Also, I wanted to show you these camellias, or camellias? I'm not sure, I call them camellias. Camellia bushes that I ordered from um, Camellia Forest Nursery. They are mail order. These look great. These are hardy to zone 6B, which is where I am. Uh, one of them was even blooming. Absolutely stunning. So happy with the quality of these. These are the one quart sizes. I ended up getting five of them, which was a little bit pricey, but I love Camellia, so I wanted to splurge a little bit. They have, of course, this beautiful evergreen glossy foliage. I found a nice location for them that had a little bit of dappled shade, lots of sunlight in the early morning, so I think they're going to be very happy. Also going to be located near a pine tree, hopefully uh, get a little bit of that acidity that they might like in the future. Um, they're just little tiny things for now, but like most of the things that I plant, they're just little tiny things. And speaking of small stuff that's not going to be big for a while, I also had some skip cherry laurels or laurel cherries. Um, you might be familiar with this ornamental shrub. I'm not really, but I am at the same time. I'm not an expert in ornamental shrubs. I don't grow them very often. But these little dudes, I believe, I purchased from Conifer Kingdom. I just got enough of these to make like a little hedge in the yard. Uh, this is another evergreen and eventually it will turn into a nice little privacy hedge so the neighbors can stop staring at me while I'm crawling around on the ground in the backyard. So I think these are cute. They look nice. They appear to be healthy. I know that this was a quick video and I know it's not really that exciting but some people uh, just want to know what I'm up to and what I'm doing. Um, I would make how to plant blah 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 videos but it really it just comes down to sticking stuff in the ground and uh, maybe in the future when these grow up nice, I'll make a complete, you know, compilation, like, start to finish. But for now, 
that's it. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Leave your comments down below, of course. Tell me whatever you want. I'll listen. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.